The most anticipated episode of Monday Night Raw in the history is live from Nashville, Tennessee. It is confirmed that tonight CM Punk will be on Raw with a live microphone for the first time in 10 years, so stick around for that. We kick off the show with another big return to Raw. It's Randy Orton who looks incredible after 18 months of injury rehab. He gets to do his signature pose on the ropes to a rapturous ovation. He takes to the mic and says that competing in war games was essentially a bucket list achievement for him, but that's not the only reason he returned. He says he has unfinished business with the bloodline, he owes every single member a receipt in the form of an RKO. At this point, I was curious what Randy's approach would be to Jey Uso and Sami Zayn, who are of course former bloodline members. Randy gets interrupted by Rhea Ripley, who criticises Randy, saying she didn't think he was the type to do favours or team with someone who tried to end his career, that being Jey Uso. Randy says he is sick of listening to Mammy because Daddy is home. At least Randy is self-aware. We've all been calling him Daddy for years. Orton gets jumped by Dirty Dom and JD McDonough. Orton fights back and throws JD into the ring post before trying to DDT Dom off the rope. JD stops that but eats an RKO for his troubles. Orton says he wants a match with Dirty Dom tonight to end the opening segment. It's great to see Orton back and he hasn't lost a step after a long road to recovery. Speaking of roads, we are on the road to 1000 subs so please support the channel by subscribing and watching more videos of mine. The show continues with Tag Team Turmoil. It's a Tag Team Gauntlet match with the last team standing earning a Tag Team Championship match. It kicks off with the Alpha Academy vs DIY, Gargano and Champa Hit meet in the middle on Tazawa to win the first match. Next entrants are in the share, yes apparently they are still employed, I was shocked as well. They might as well be sacked as Gargano avoids a move in the corner and rolls up Veer for the quick win. In the share are eliminated quicker than you can say, I hated Jinder Mahal's WWE Championship reign. The Creed brothers are up next to try to beat DIY, the Creed's hit the Brutus Ball to knock off DIY in advance to face New Day where again the Creed's hit a Brutus Ball and win. Their next challenge is in Imperium, but once again the Creed's hit the Brutus Ball and pin Imperium to win Tag Team Turmoil. They celebrate as tensions grow between Kaiser and Vinci. Backstage, Judgment Day realise they have some tough competition in the Creed Brothers. Damien Priest is too busy thinking about war games and how he messed it up for his team. His Judgment Day family tell him it's alright that they're not mad at him and they still love him as Finn and Priest go check on McDonough and Medical. Cody Rhodes is here after his big win in war games. Cody thanks his whole team for helping him win the match, his late great father invented before getting onto the top topic of CM Punk. Cody welcomes Punk back and is curious to hear what he has to say, just like the rest of us. Cody then declares his entry into the 2024 Royal Rumble. A bit early Rhodes, but I like your thinking. The lights go out as Shinsuke Nakamura comes up in the big screen. It was Cody, those crappy promo packages I didn't mention in my videos was referring to. Nakamura shows up in the ring and mists Cody. That's all the action here. Nakamura had Cody vulnerable and blinded and didn't use that to his advantage. What a silly boy. Bronson Reed takes on Ivar in the latest big meaty men slapping meat contest. Bronson drives Ivar into the barricade as the match ends in a double count out. The behemoths battle through the crowd as security come out to try and split them up. Ivar dives onto Bronson as the two men are finally split up but this one is far from over. Seth Rollins is here for a promo. Let's hope he is calmed down after his meltdown after war games eh? The fans start chanting for CM Punk which prompts Rollins to address Punk saying he doesn't want to spend another second on that hypocrite. Seth wants to focus on the world championship but gets interrupted by Drew McIntyre. Drew offers Seth a handshake for winning war games which Seth accepts as Drew breaks down what went wrong between him and Judgment Day. Drew says he needs to put war games and Jey Uso to the back of his mind and go after what matters most which is Seth's world championship. Drew challenges Seth to a rematch but Seth declines saying he talked to Adam Pearce and thinks there's someone more deserving of a shot than Drew. Seth reveals he will face Jey Uso for the title next week which sends Drew off the deep end as he headbutts Seth busting Drew open. Drew lost his kilt so he's just running about in little cycle shorts now and that looks funny. Drew beats down Seth until Jey Uso makes the save as he takes the fight to Drew hitting a super kick. As Rollins recovers the duo hit a double super kick to send Drew packing. Backstage Drew is approached by Sami Zayn who asks what's wrong with him as Sami recalls how he has had the same disappointments as Drew but kept fighting. He calls Drew a spoiled brat and Drew's response is to say that he's going to Adam Pearce to get a match with Sami next week. Tegan Knox and Natalya challenge Piper Nevin and Chelsea Green for the WWE Women's Tag Team Championships. Piper sandwiches Tegan as the champions retain. Randy Orton is preparing for his match tonight when he is approached by Jey Uso. Jey apologises for his past with the bloodline and his history with Randy, which Orton accepts as long as Jey is fully out, which Jey confirms. Orton has respect for Jey because he has watched the show in his absence and seen how Jey has his friends back. But that means something to Randy. It was a nice moment as the two share a yeet. Dirty Dominic Mysterio goes one on one with a returning Randy Orton in the main event match of the night. Orton hits the RKO for the win on his return to Raw. Good to have you back, Randy. Now the moment you've all been waiting for. CM 
Punk returns to Monday Night Raw. The arena is electric for him. What an ovation for the Straight Edge superstar. Punk takes to the mic and says, Hell is frozen over as he stands in a WWE ring with a live microphone again. He speaks from the heart and says he has changed and that he is whole. He thanks the fans for continuing to chant his name while he was gone and remembered him when he wanted to forget himself. Punk says a wise man once told him to get everything he wanted from WWE, he would have to leave. The wise man was right. Shout out Paul Heyman. Punk says people have been asking him about AJ, she's great, and sends her regards. Punk then says he has been welcomed back with hugs and kisses on the lips from all the boys. Well, not quite all of them. Punk says some people are scared that the most controversial and feared man in wrestling walked through the door. That their efforts to become the best in the world in the ring, on the microphone, and even on commentary were futile. The best in the world is home and he caps his promo off by saying down the battle just for the camera to hear I'm not here to make friends I'm here to make money